Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and I decided to bring out the 350 Legend Ruger American Ranch Rifle. It's been a while since I shot it and very much excited to do that and I brought a bowling ball. This is called a Brunswick Rhino. Now every time I feature a bowling ball, it's been a while, someone will tell me everything about that bowling ball that I don't know. Nonetheless, we're going to fire this from 100 yards with the 350 Legend. We'll talk more about that after we set up. I got a target set up here to make sure my Diamondback, my Vortex Diamondback is uh, zeroed in. I know it's zeroed in. We'll see. It's been a while. And then we're going to fire this from 100 yards and just see what the effect is with the 350 Legend. Let's get this set up. All right, here we are at 100 yards. I took a couple shots at my blue target and I'm grouping a little bit high. Not sure why, there is a lot of wind going on out here. I'm using the 350 Legend 180 grain. It's a deer load. It's one of the heavier bullets in the 350 Legend. Ruger American Ranch Rifle, 16 inch barrel, Vortex Diamondback, three to nine by 40 millimeter. So I'm gonna take a few shots at that target that I'm gonna attempt to hit that bowling ball and see what the effects are. All right, those two hit pretty dead nuts. Let's see how I do with that bowling ball. I'm expecting it to hit and then possibly roll down that hill. But nonetheless, if I could hit it, we'll look at the effects. I'm feeling very confident now. I've got my tactical frog blanket that has actually become quite popular. And uh, I like that because not only does it give me confidence, but you guys seem to like it as well. Let's see how I do with the bowling ball. Not sure what happened. I, got, I have a camera down there, so we'll get a closer look. I don't know if I hit it or not. It didn't seem to move. Let's try that again. That time I know I hit, and looks like it just took the covering off. But uh, we'll see. 180 grain bullet, a heavier 350 Legend. A lot of people use that 150 grain. 30 more grains will make a difference, I think. At least on a bowling ball, I'm sure it would on a whitetail. Let's try that one more time. All right, let's take a look at, let me make sure I'm unloaded, yep. We'll take a look at that bowling ball and see what the 350 Legend did to it. All right, here is my blue target. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was from 100 yards, okay, first couple, we're right in this group, and then the last two right here. That's actually a, a real nice shot from 100 yards, and that's what you'd expect to shoot, but there is quite a bit of wind. I had to deal with that, no problem. I'll have to check the video, but my buddy who's with me told me that I hit the bowling ball three times. It did not penetrate at all. Now, here is the outer covering. This is heavy and, and really thick, so that's what we're looking at there. It did create a crack over here, so the energy of that round cracked it up quite a bit definitely definitely ruined it but it did not penetrate anywhere near what i thought it would but there again you don't know what's inside these things whether it's asbestos is there some type of composite a uh, combination of everything but that's what a 350 legend with the 180 grain bullet will do from 100 yards three shots and i don't know if i'm impressed if i'm not impressed i i think it's pretty good but i will say this it sure was fun getting the Ruger American Ranch Rifle back out and shooting the 350 Legend. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.